hello welcome back to another section of my tutorial video and in this video i'm going to show you a way to type fractions and exponents when you are typing using the google keyboard whether whatsapp or whether you want to send questions to a friend in where the question involves exponents so i'm going to show you stay tuned don't forget to subscribe please watch this video to the end this is an educational channel and if you are interested in academics don't forget like as well okay so let's quickly go through what you have in this video so first of all let me go to my notes and we start type something so as we want to type let's say y squared y squared then let's say y you type a y but the y is normal so to type a squared you come here to the numbers you come here then you come to the number side. So once you come to the number side, then you long press the the number or the exponent. So as you want to write y squared or y cube, you just long press two. So two give us as you can see. So once you long press and you leave it, then you can see that it has shown it has shown the exponent here. So let's keep on writing the equation. Let's say y squared plus 2y then minus then also to type minus you just long press this one you long press this one and that is going to give us the minus to be this so that will give us minus so once you get this let's see the fraction so for the fractions minus let's say 3 over 4 you just long press 3 and you just switch to 3 over 4 so this is a nice way and you can see that our equation is there we can even add this thing to and bring our number 0 so typing this for someone to solve for you will be simpler and easier to read rather than using other way around so this video i'm teaching you how to use the y squared or using exponents very well so we can try as many as we want we can try let's say exponent 7 so I said again when you want to type exponent come to the number side then long press on that number so that will give us the exponent so to the power 7 then into brackets let's say 8 um let's say yes multiplying 8 here let me make it like this then let me bring it here into brackets so 5 to the power 7 then to the power 8 that's going to be like this nicely. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope this video is going to be helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, since I'm going to post nice and educational videos like this. Thank you.